This morning, we packed our bags and jumped on a plane to Austin, Texas. After picking up our rental car, we drove over to our Airbnb. Our route took us down Greg Manor. It was even spelled the right way. Our Airbnb is a big house with an open dining room, kitchen, and living room. It's nicely decorated. There's a lot of open space to relax in. And we each have our own bedroom, which is nice. And I claim the room with the big bathtub. And in one of the rooms, we listened to some records on an old record player. Then we met up with Ryan, Jennifer, Michael, Tyler, Alex, and Andy for Mexican food at El Jarache. On Saturday, we drove to the Bullock, Texas State History Museum, which had a big star out in front. Because it's the Lone Star State. The museum had the remains of the shipwreck Lubell, which was one of Robert de la Salle's four ships that sunk while he was trying to start a French colony in Texas. They recovered over a million artifacts from the shipwreck. We also learned how in 1821, Texas was a part of Mexico before they fought Santa Ana and declared their independence in 1836. Later that night, we joined the Gibsons at Pint House Pizza. The pizza was delicious. And they had a game where you tried to get a ring on the hook. Getting the ring on the hook was kind of hard, but also kind of easy. The next day, we met up at the Austin Aquarium, where they had bearded dragons and iguanas that you could pet, and shrimp that would clean your hands. It tickled. There were also birds that you could feed on your hands. And we got to pet ring-tailed lemurs from Zimbabwe. They were very playful and their fur was very soft. We got to handle three kinkajous, also known as the honey bear which are nocturnal, which is why they were in red light. They come from Central America, and they can use their tail as a third arm, as we discovered when they hung off our neck and arms. They even let us play with the baby, whose name is Banana Bread. For dinner, we drove to the oasis at Lake Travis, which had a beautiful view. There were statues that we had fun climbing on with the kids before we sat down for dinner. It was also extremely windy, and my hair was going crazy, which looks pretty cool in slow motion. Everyone got lots of photos as we watched the sunset from the balcony. The food here was delicious, and our table had a great location. On Monday, we went to Fort Landy at the Texas Arboretum, they had 10 architects build 10 unique forts along their nature trail. We got to explore each of them, and I ate my lunch in a tree. Some of them had tunnels. These looked like boats and had pipes to communicate with each other. Some were shiny. Others you could hang from. And some you could build yourself. Afterwards, we went to the Circuit of the Americas, home of the Formula One United States Grand Prix. Outside the racetrack, they had a karting track, where Alana and I race carts that went up to 30 miles an hour. They were fast, and the track was huge. After racing, we went to Terry Black's Barbecue, one of the best barbecue places in Austin. Everything was so delicious. And so meaty. On New Year's Eve, we went to the LBJ Library, which is more of a museum about Lyndon B. Johnson than a library. LBJ stepped up as the 36th president of the United States when Kennedy was assassinated in 1963. He designed legislation to expand civil rights, public broadcasting, Medicare, Medicaid, and help millions of Americans rise above the poverty line. The museum even had a replica of his own Oval Office. Afterwards, we found an electric scooter outside the library in an empty parking lot. It was perfect for taking a test drive. Then, we went over to the Gibson's house to drink soda, play outside, have dinner, watch a 3D movie on Ryan's projector, 
and finally play a hilarious game of Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> On New Year's Day, we went to the Ultimate Air Trampoline Park. Not only did it have trampolines, but they also had a ninja course and some great climbing walls, each with different shapes. I also did the zip line. And then, Ender and I explored the kids' playground. We then met the Gibsons at the Texas Military Forces Museum. Aside from military equipment, they also had a diorama of the Alamo and told the story of Texas independence. Outside, they had a ton of tanks and artillery. Afterwards, Dad and I took a small hike to Mount Bonnell which overlooks the Colorado River on one side and the city of Austin on the other. We then drove over to Mozart's Coffee House, which still was decorated with beautiful Christmas lights and flowers, and we got some delicious sweets to share. Outside, a pianist was playing Mozart, and at 6 p.m., we watched a Christmas light show synchronized with music. On Thursday, we took a bike tour through downtown Austin, and we saw the Barton Springs Municipal Pool. We then biked down to the Austin waterfront before looping around Lady Bird Lake. We had lunch at the 1886 Cafe at the historical Driscoll Hotel downtown. The food was delicious. And then we walked down to the Capitol building. The dome was so big and beautiful. We also got to explore the State Senate room, which had a big Christmas tree. We aren't sure how they got it in there. After that, we jumped into the car and met the Gibsons at Joanne Lake Playground. It had a really cool zip line with a swing attached to it. And now we're at the airport yeah. about to fly back to Orlando. So what'd you think? What'd you think of Austin? It was fun. What about you? Yeah, I like the weather here. It's oh, yeah. really nice. It was chilly. Yeah, I like it. <laughs>